Hey, welcome to Davida Stamp and Spot. I know it's not eight o'clock tonight, but I have a little baby I need to snuggle. So I'm going to do this uh, live. Hopefully you'll catch it at eight o'clock when I should have been on. But our newest grandson was born uh, Saturday morning at 545. So we've had big brother Kaysen with us since uh, Friday. And he and mommy, new baby and daddy all got to go home uh, this afternoon. And I had my open house from three to seven. And we want to go back over for a couple hours tonight. So we're going to head over as soon as I finish this video. So what I want to share with you is one of the cards that we made at the extravaganza on uh, Saturday morning. The gals uh, paid to come. So we made some cards. We played some games. Uh, they got to shop early on my clearance with my clearance sale. And we had a really good time. It was so fun to be together. Um, and Kason was with us and he got to help with the bingo game. And uh, so it was a lot of fun. So we made this beautiful card. This is part of the cheerful daisies. And we're going to use the dies and just one stamp set here. I know you can't see that very clear. I'm going to fix that issue here. So um, I had an extra kit because one of the gals was sick. And so I decided I would use that and uh, show you how we made the card. I honestly was not going to buy the daisies because I thought I have daisy stamps. I don't need a new one. And you know how that goes. You see cards, you see ideas, and then you have to buy it. So the dies in this set, I just think are phenomenal. So you can see I am stamping just the centers of the flowers. You don't have to be real careful on this, fortunately, because we're going to add layers to it. So I'm just going to do the middle and then I'm going to grab my watch and this paper are just hitting each other here. All right, so this is a die that comes and it cuts out all three at once. I'm going to cut them apart here because I want to do individuals. I could have left them together and then just um, put my grouping together on the front, but I wanted separate. So now I'm just going to clean this up a little bit. If you made it to the open house, thank you very much for your graciousness. We ran up to the hospital in between the morning extravaganza and the afternoon open house. And because of that, I was late getting back to the open house and everyone was so kind and uh, willing to uh, let me come in late. Mom came over and started the open house for me so people could still go ahead and shop while they were waiting for me to show up. And it worked out, I'm very thankful, but you guys know that I don't typically uh, show up late for my events. I'm always trying to be ready ahead of time. All right, so here's the first layer. Now the ones I cut out are actually the middle layer on this. I'm gonna grab some dimensionals because I want some depth here. And I'm going to place it on the one that I colored with the yellow using the smalls, you could use the big ones and cut them. Of course, it's up to you. Starting with the big flower here. It's really dark in here. We have a blanket over the window. Uh, Kason, when he stayed with us, he likes a really dark bedroom. And since his bedroom is my office, I've put a dark blanket over the window for him and I didn't pull it down today. All right, so there's the first and second layer. And then there's this piece here, which I can't wait to play with these and do some different colors with this. I think it'll be really cool as well. Now, you could use dimensionals on this section. I thought the pieces were kind of small and I didn't want people to struggle um, Saturday trying to put them on these little pieces. So we just glued this third layer down. But if you want a lot of depth, you could uh, use dimensionals on this. Oh, dropped it, dropped it again. I act like a grandma that's had a little man here, don't I? All right, and I will tell you, some of the gals were struggling matching it up and you wanna look on this big one, look for the three that are kind of even in a row and it'll make it easy to line them up. So there's the big flower. Now we'll go to the middle one. Same thing on this one here. I'm looking for these two 
kind of angled ones and then you can line it up uh, really quickly. Next time, and when I use the stamp set, I'm gonna show you a trick I saw on how to make it a little bit easier to line everything up with the dies and the punches and, or dies, these are dies uh, with the dies and the stamp set. And if you drop them on the floor, it makes it even more interesting. So if you haven't made it to my open house, you have one more chance. I still have amazing products at an amazing price in the clearance sale. Um, ladies have been buying, but there's still lots down there. I found two boxes of cardstock or DSP, some of it bagged in big bags and some of it packages that I pulled out um, that I've been selling. I've got stamps. I've got bundles. Uh, okay, I told you how to do it, and then I didn't practice what I told you. So this flower has three here kind of in a straight line. And if you line them up first, there you go. So that's the bottom and the middle layer. And then I'm again going to use glue. The bigger one would have been easier to put dies on, but then as they get smaller, I think it's a little more difficult to put these pieces on. So tomorrow I'll be here from three to seven, and you can come over and shop. I've got a make and take. I've got door price, uh, door prizes to give away, and uh, displays. So come on by. I'd love to have you come by. All right, so there's the second one. And this one to me is the easiest one. I tell you that, and then my pieces aren't here. Well, let's see if it's still in the envelope. I use the dots um, embossing for, or die. This cut it all out in one piece. Can you see that? Isn't that awesome? I love that. Um, I bought it quite a while ago and just have not used it. And then when I used it for this, I'm like, oh my gosh, why haven't I been using this? All right, so again, gonna use dimensionals on the middle layer, and then I'm going to use glue on the top layer. Hoping that's not gonna show, yeah. And then of course you can always cut your dimensionals in half for two reasons. One, it makes them smaller, and two, it makes your dies last twice, or your, Dimensionals go twice as far, which is always a good thing. All right, so I'm going to put this one up here and see if that'll fit there. If um, you haven't been told, and a lot of you haven't, the kids have not um, done an official Facebook post yet of the newest grandson, so I haven't either, but you will see something soon. Hoping now that they're home from the hospital, they'll have be able to get something posted. But uh, he was born Saturday morning, healthy. Everything looks great, beautiful. And of course, I'm going to say that he's my grandson. But other people have said it as well. Uh, he's got nice black hair. Uh, Kaysen was more of a blondie. So he's got nice black hair. And uh, Kaysen is doing really well with him so far, which we're happy about. All right, so there's my third daisy. So now we're going to put it together. In this daisy set, there are also some dies for greenery. I apologize to the ladies on Saturday. I should have put the adhesive sheets on these, and I just didn't think about it. Um, so we had to use a little glue just like I did there. Then we're going to put the big daisy here in the middle. I like this one kind of sticking up right here. So you can do it however you want, but I thought it was neat to put it up here. Some of the samples I've seen online, they've been putting this lower, but I don't know if I was arranging flowers, I would put it up above. And then I'm going to put the middle one down here. So I'm using almost all the dies in this set. I think it's a really beautiful set. Um, I cut out leaves here off and the, some of the leaves are on the, um, the big die. So you can cut out one big piece and it's got the leaves and the three uh, daisies, which I think is really cool if you're, you know, wanting to make a solid piece of all of them. I'll put that there. And you'll notice on this one, you can see my sample here. I just got ink all over my finger. 
Um, I've kept the insides of the leaves on this one. Oh, the camera's a little fuzzy, sorry about that. There we go. You can see that. Um, on this one, I'm using the o o leaves open. So that's personal preference. You can do it either way. Some of the ladies Saturday uh, wanted them open and some wanted them filled in. So it's, like I said, personal preference. All right. So when I made my first sample, uh, by the way, this is the new bubble bath colored ink or paper. I love it. I'm not a pink person, but I think this bubble bath is just so cute. I love it. Um, so I made the bubble bath and I stamped my greeting in bubble bath and on the yellow thinking, oh, it'll be fine, but it really is too light. So during the class, I talked with Lois and, um, well, maybe she was the only one there. Pam might have been there then. I'm not real sure. And we decided that the fresh freesia um, looked better. I know. Can you imagine DeVita wanted fresh freesia? Yeah, I know. I always find a way to use it, don't I? All right. So I grabbed, um, on the original one I put, I like this, it says, uh, oops, a daisy, so sorry. But today I wanted the wishing you the brightest birthday. So I'm going to use that one and I put it on a block and I brought the fresh freesia ink in here. I was pretty, there it is. So I, when I had to set up Friday night, it was after we'd picked up Kaysen. I knew I had to clean everything out of my stamp room before we put him to bed because I wouldn't be able to come back in here until he woke up Saturday morning. And uh, so boy, I've got stuff all over the place trying to, and I got everything out of here. So that worked out pretty good. So you can see that by using the fresh freesia, it still kind of has that pinky look to it, but see how much darker you can see the greeting. So I really like that better. Um, and I use dimensionals to pop it up. I'm going to do that again. Um, I am doing an ordering special. And since everything has been so crazy this weekend, I'm also going to extend it to you that are watching because I realized I never advertised it like I wanted to. If you order between now and tomorrow night, which is Tuesday, the 16th by 10 a.m., I'm offering free shipping as a special deal for my open house. So if you've looked in the new catalog, you see some new goodies that you want, you can save that 11% if you order. So we're going to go that way. Um, before 10 o'clock tomorrow night. I'm going to put my order in at 10 tomorrow night. So if you want free shipping, make sure you get it to me by then. All right. So the score, see how that's kind of bubbling out. Um, I was told by Stampin' Up! people that you actually want that on the inside. I think I've told you that before. But uh, You'll notice I put up a new uh, creative challenge uh, today. Thank goodness I had that preset to go. So I would love to see what you create. You can use current product. You can use retired. I just want everybody stamping. So I can't wait to see what you'll do. Um, kind of like Mystery Monday, except it's free, uh, free creativity. You can do and create whatever you want. All right, so we're going to glue that right on the front. Again, if you wanted more dimension, you could pop that up. But I felt like I was getting quite a bit already with all of the height that I added. And then you'll, I don't have them in here. They're in the bucket out there, I believe. But on this one, I added some bling. I do have my bow here ready to go. So I will add my bow here. Isn't that pretty? I love that card. I am so excited about this um, stamp set, the cheerful daisies and the dies that go with it. And this one here, you can see I added some bling. Some of my gals say you always have to have bling. I also wanted to show you my uh, um, Valentine's, good grief, Mother's Day card that I made. Um, I wanted to make this for some young moms. And so I used the stamp set that has this mom with a little boy and then a mom holding a baby 
and I have it out on display. I didn't bring it in here, but I made it an easel card. I love the greetings. When a child is born, so is a mother. And the easel sits like that. This is a retired Happy Mother's Day, but I just love that one. And then on the inside, it says, there are places in your heart you didn't even know existed until you have a child. Thought that was really cool. I love it also. This is the new boho blue, and this is the pebbled path. And I thought they looked really pretty together. Most of the women I was sending to had a little boy. So I really liked using the blue for it. So there's my Mother's Day card. I hope you guys had an amazing Mother's Day. Mine was awesome since I got to welcome a new grandbaby. And I can't wait to show you pictures. It will be coming soon once the kids make it, as they say, Facebook official. Hopefully that'll be real soon. I apologize for hopping on early. But it was either that or I didn't get to share with you tonight and I wanted to share. So if you can stop by tomorrow night, the open house is from three to seven. Come on by. Uh, questions, issues, comments, text me, email me, Facebook message me. I'll be happy to answer them. I hope you're having an awesome day and I will see you next Monday at eight o'clock unless the snuggle bunny calls me again. But I bet I'm on at eight. Have an awesome week and I'll see you then. Bye.